cryptocurrency Bitcoin has had a roller coaster ride over the last week, hitting a record $20,000 per coin at the weekend before sliding back to under 17,000 on Tuesday. To discuss Bitcoin, let's bring in a couple of expert guests. I'm joined by Peter Schiff, who's the CEO and Chief Global Strategist of Euro Pacific Capital Inc. And also by Nick Spanos, who's the co-founder of the ZAP project. That uh, works to solve one of the biggest challenges in the blockchain industry. Uh, welcome to you both, gentlemen. Um, if I may come to you first, uh, Peter, I know that you're not from previous interviews. You're not a big fan of, of Bitcoin. We've seen the roller coaster ride continue. When do you think, if you think this is a bubble, when's it going to burst? Well, I wish I knew that, but I, I am sure Justin that it Peter. is a bubble. In fact, it's probably the biggest bubble I've ever seen in my career as an investor. And I've seen quite a few bubbles, and I'm familiar with the psychology that surrounds them. And, uh, you know, Bitcoin has all of the characteristics of a bubble. In fact, it's not just Bitcoin. It's the entire cryptocurrency uh, space. I think it's a massive speculative bubble. And maybe we've seen the top and maybe we haven't. I don't know. But I think when the top is in, I think this thing is going to come crashing down. It's not just going to go down slowly. You know, there's an expression that markets take the stairs up and the elevator down. Well, uh, you know, Bitcoin took uh, a rocket ship up and it's going to come down even faster. Yeah, Nick, I mean, it's exponential, the curve at the moment, the increase in the, in, in the value. And I thought this was an interesting point. I heard recently people, you know, chattering away on social media in Russia saying, oh, you know, we really should have got on board with Bitcoin. And I've heard stories of people in the US, you know, remortgaging their houses to invest in it. Isn't that the point they say when it's stocks and shares that, you know, you really want to get out? Uh, you asking me? Yeah, I am. Um, uh, oh. All right, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I had some static on this thing. Oh, so it's okay. Uh, I'm just saying that isn't this the point Bitcoin that you know is not people would panic? Bitcoin at this is not point. a bubble. Well, to answer the first question, Bitcoin is not a bubble. Bitcoin actually is the pin. It's the pin that's pop popping the legacy financial systems bubble uh, uh, over printing of money, uh, over valuation of uh, stocks and stuff. It's a, Bitcoin is a technology. People don't uh, seem to understand. And once they do understand, they come on board. It's a technology uh, and it's a revolution, just like the, the um, industrial revolution changed the world. You know, uh, this is a information calculation, computation, communication, crypto economic revolution that's uh, changing the world right now. And if you don't understand what it is, it takes a little while to learn about it. Uh, but once you realize what Bitcoin is, uh, you're going to realize that you're at the ground floor. I mean, uh, was the train a bubble? I mean, there have been yeah. bubbles probably in when uh, the trains were invented, but some people stayed blacksmiths, like some people are staying goldsmiths. But some people are staying blacksmiths and. Uh, you know, the train's going to pass you by. And then other people became uh, uh, Carnegie's and Rockefeller's. And, uh, uh, well, let's go to Peter. Peter, it's the future, according, the according to Nick. People are getting in at the, at, at the ground level. I mean, the, the beauty of it, the, the supporters say it's decentralized. It's oh. everything that <laughs> banks aren't, you know. They're not, the, the banks can't come and just take your money away yeah. when it's Bitcoin and it's the blockchain. But well, first of all, nobody buying in today is getting in at the ground floor. I mean, if anything, you're going to be left holding the bag. But Bitcoin is not a technology. The technology is the blockchain. And we can have an argument about, you know, how relevant the blockchain is and how important it may or may not be. But Bitcoin is nothing. It's simply a digital token that utilizes the blockchain. So when you buy into Bitcoin, you don't own anything except that one Bitcoin. You don't have any ownership of any kind of railroad. You've got one car and that car is going to be obsolete. Uh, uh, you know, I agree Bitcoin that we have the... overvaluation. Bitcoin. We have a problem in fiat currency. We have problem in let me fit it. We have a problem in fiat currencies. Uh, but, you know, you mentioned overprinting. We have lots of digital currencies. There's 1,300 of them. There's massive inflation of digital currencies. And even Bitcoin itself has spun off Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold. There's no limit to the supply of Bitcoin branded worthless tokens that can be created. What do you make of that point? Because I think it's a fair one, Nick. You know, I mean, w when the, the blockchain forks off Let's, and you, listen, get different, uh, you get different I, currencies, you know, Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Hold on a second. Can I gold. answer this? I mean, what he said was Bitcoin is nothing. 
he's trying to say that Bitcoin's nothing, but Bitcoin is a reward system, right, for holding up the blockchain. Without, uh, without Bitcoin, without Bitcoin's blockchain, Bitcoin's blockchain is the largest blockchain ever. It's the largest, for, uh, the first one out, and has the most participants. There's millions of uh, mining machines uh, handling all the transactions all, and all the information and the calculations that are happening on this uh, blockchain. So when you're a miner and you, and you uh, uh, participate in the clearing all this information, you uh, get a piece, a little slice of a Bitcoin as being part of a pool. You get a slice of, uh, of Bitcoin, and uh, that's the reward system. So yes, Bitcoin is a... Uh, is, uh is a technology, and the miners get rewarded in Bitcoin for their partici the Bitco participation. And there are other currencies. Yeah. No, yes. the Bitcoin itself is not the technology. It could be the reward, but you don't need Bitcoin to have a blockchain. There are all these other cryptocurrencies that have blockchains, and they don't use Bitcoin. And you can use blockchains for anything. I mean, well, the you know, airlines the can decide blockchain. to put their frequent fire the miles on blockchain. Is the one that's I mean, a, yeah. Nick, what about the fact that... If you don't that have a consensus, the largest yeah, blockchain is the only one that the largest. matters. The largest blockchain is the only one that matters. The one that does the most no, work... No, it doesn't. The most people that Why? are involved is the one that's most trustworthy. Yeah. <laughs> the small. If you can have a blockchain in your pocket and not have no, any consensus what, uh, uh, model or algorithm work, and meaning you don't have any miners and you don't have any consensus, it doesn't mean anything. It's just a really, but, really slow database. But what... And that's what it is. But I what is... What is the value, what is the inherent value of a Bitcoin? What, is, what can you do with a Bitcoin to make it worth $17,000? If I have one Bitcoin, what, what can I use it for? What can I do with it uh, where I derive $17,000 worth of value? Well, you seem to misunderstand, and a lot of people do, and the people who don't misunderstand actually buy it. The reality is Bitcoin is a technology. Satoshis. There's 100 million Satoshis per Bitcoin. No, it's not a technology. So what, what, what can I do with my Bitcoin? Bitcoin? There's 100 it's not million a Satoshis. You could buy anything, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I could buy gold at a discount. I go to Paxful.com, and I could no. buy gold at a discount. I could buy gold at 60% no. off with Bitcoin. No, you have That's to sell. The Bitcoin. You, you have to sell account. your Bitcoin buy card, first. You can buy a credit card. No, you, no, buy you have a to sell the Bitcoin uh, you buy, to buy uh, the gold. What are they called? Peter, I just want to get back to a question I was trying to ask Nick earlier. You know, you people are piling into Amazon, this now. Amazon credit. They're investing money gold, that a lot of people probably can't even afford to lose. Sometimes. Just how dangerous are we, uh, the situation we're in now? How dangerous is it, you know, where people are remortgaging and, and spending savings on Bitcoin? Look, it is very Bitcoin dangerous. Is the people have been is, sucked into is, uh, the, the, the people's mania. monetary. They think they're going to get rich quick. Go ahead, Peter. Yeah, and, and look, unfortunately, look, the people, people who got in years ago, or even people that got in at the beginning of the year, yes, they have the opportunity to cash out and make a lot of money. But people who are buying into this thing at these prices or higher prices are going to lose basically everything. I mean, these currencies are going to trade to zero or pretty close to it once this bubble pops. Because right now, the only reason that people are buying Bitcoin is because the price is going up. And when it turns around, then they're gonna be selling it for the same reason. There's no value in the Bitcoin. You can't use it as money. It's too slow, it's too expensive, and too volatile. So it's not a medium of exchange. It's not a store of value because there's no value to store. It is a, it is a pure speculative digital asset that as soon as it stops going up, it's going to implode. Nick, I just want to look into the future because the price obviously keeps increasing. But, you know, everything is, is, is on based on this blockchain. Everyone thinks it's, a, it's the new miracle. What about when quantum computing comes along in a few years? It is anticipated. Won't that render the blockchain actually very vulnerable? Well, there's a lot of uh, uh, fixes for that already written. And uh, that we would have a fork and uh, implement a fork that would take care of that. Now, to answer the question before, he said you can't buy anything with Bitcoin. I mean, that's not true. You can buy anything you buy today. You can buy with Bitcoin. You can buy it at a discount. And uh, you can buy uh, credit on Amazon. No, you have you to buy sell the Bitcoin any, first. Uh, the coupons people have. Yeah, you go to the site and you plug it in and they give you the no, coupons that's after for anything you, you buy. You, you, you have to sell your Bitcoin. You have to sell the Bitcoin. <laughs> no, you can't. They don't have well, any. No, they you don't have, have to prices use the in Bitcoin Bitcoins. to they get the say, coupon. Hey, you can buy this for. A You've never been on this. Oh my God! <clears throat> you use the. You, Come on, Peter. <clears throat> yes, you're selling <laughs> you your Bitcoin. About? They're, they're, I'm you're saying converting it that to you, well, you got to sell your gold to <laughs> yes, buy something, too. No one's taking your gold. No one's hanging around with a gold test kit, taking your gold. 
No Gentlemen, one's wrong. I'm going to have to interrupt you. I do apologise. But, but also, this Gold conversation needs um, another Gold good 20, 30 value. minutes to resolve. But I, have to, I do apologise. We are about to run out of time. Many thanks to my guest, Peter Schiff, Chief Exec of Euro Pacific Capital, and Nick Spanos, co-founder of the Zap Project. Thank you, guys.